Hi, this is Chris from VitaminCM.com, and what we're going to do now is talk about a tool called Yahoo Pipes. And Yahoo Pipes allows you to grab data from all over the web, combine it together, do stuff to it, and then pump it out into a feed or something else that you can use. I'm logged in to my Yahoo account, and I went to pipes.yahoo.com, and what I want to do is click on Create a Pipe. And that opens up the menu that I can use to build my pipe. Now, the great thing about this is all there's all kinds of uh, programmed out tools that are built in here that you can start with. And on top of that, you can copy things from other users. So I'm going to look at this pretty elaborate one that I have built here, and I'm just going to reproduce it here. So what I want to do is I want to take the RSS feed that are the most recent things that I've bookmarked on Delicious, the most recent articles that I've dug on dig.com, and the most recent uh, pages that I've given a thumbs up to on StumbleUpon. I want to combine that all into one feed of my favorite things I've been looking at lately. First is pull in my RSS feeds. So I'm going to drag this tool here that says Fetch Feed, and I'm going to add it to the page. I'm actually going to add three of them because I want one for each of my three sources. So I'll just drag them out here. And you can just click on them and drag them around the page, just like kind of like you're drawing. And now I want to put the URLs into all three of these. So I have them on my notepad here. So I'll just copy out stumble upon, paste it in, copy out dig. paste it in, and I'll copy out delicious and paste it in. Okay, now the next thing that I need to do is take the those feeds and sort them and count how many articles out of each that I want to look at. So I'm going to go down here to one of these categories. I'm going to go to the one called operators because I need the, the sort operator. So I'll just drag this out and of course I'll drag one for each of my feeds. And now you need to connect each feed to each sort item. So you just go click on the the ball or the circle, whatever it is, and make your pipe onto your other item. Okay, now this is passing data into this item and this knows what fields are available here. So I want to look at all the fields, author, description, link, publish date. So I want to say sort by publish date in ascending order. I'm going to do the same thing on all of these. So I want my most recent stuff. Now the next thing that I need to do is I don't want to, the whole dump of these feeds, I want to cut it off to like five for each source. So I'm going to bring out this truncate item and of course bring out one for each source and I'll do the same thing. I'll click on the little circle and drag the pipe on so I connect them all up and now truncate after so I'll say five. I want I want five items from each of these sources. Now that I've gotten my three sources of data, I have my stumble upon, my dig, and my delicious feeds. I just clean them up a little bit. What I want to do is pass them into the pipe output, but I need to uh, inject one more thing. I'm going to go back up here and grab another one of these sort items and I'll pull this in and I'm also going to pull in an item called a union so I'll pull that in and I'm going to drag these down a little to make a little more room alright so I'm going to take each of my sources and drag it onto the union and that's just going to combine all three of my sources into one source 
Then I want to connect the union to this sorter again. And again, it's passing in all the data and all the fields that are available will be in this drop down. And I want to sort by publication date again. And then I want to go out of the sorter into this pipe output. Before I do that, if you notice down here in the screen, there's no data showing up. And that's because there's nothing connected to the output. But when I take all of my sources of data combined and then drag them onto the pipe output and then click this refresh button, what you'll notice is all of my data passes in and if I click here to expand it, it gives me a little preview and I can see all the data that's passing through and they're all sorted within each source by publication date and then as the three combine in this union and come out of the union, they're again sorted by publication date. So I'm always looking at the most recent thing that I've read either on Dig or Delicious or stumble upon. Now that I have my new source of data, what I want to do is save this pipe. So I'll click Save and I'll give it a name, say what I'm reading. Click the Save button. And then what I want to do is click Run Pipe. And that will open up another window and show me all of my information. And if you notice up here, there's a little orange RSS icon. So if I copy that, if I click on that and say Add to Google Reader, or you could add to blog lines or whatever reader you like to use. Now I have this nice feed down here when I click on it you'll see all the things that I've been reading from delicious dig stumble upon and they'll all be right here and I can look at them anytime I want and if I come in here later on tonight or tomorrow I'll see any new stuff that I might have dug or or stumbled or bookmarked in delicious now that I have this all set up there's one last thing that I can do to it. If I click back here on the pipes link to go back to the home page, I'll see all my pipes and this is the one that I just recently created. And I have a couple options up here, view, re view results, edit source, so if I wanted to change it, delete it, and then this one, publish. When I click publish, then it will be available for anyone else that wants to use it. So if you wanted to use this you could use it if you wanted to make a copy of it for yourself then edit it and put in any feeds you want or use it kind of to, to reverse engineer it to build your own you could do that